Hey everyone, Nunu here and welcome to another GTA Online video. So it has been a long time um, since I've uploaded a video. In fact, uh, pretty much a month. It's been pretty much a month since I've uploaded. Uh, the first three weeks I've been away on a trip and the last week I've been uh, away uh, on, on job and recovering from the jet lag so I barely could do anything at all. So... Um, that's basically what happened and uh, luckily now I have uh, enough time to, to do the video and um, this video is going to be uh, like a continuation from the previous video I've uploaded um, like a month ago and it's about the, C uh, the CEO import export um, missions basically so I'm going to uh, show you guys how you guys can start and um, steal some cars, uh, store them and then sell them for a lot of profit hopefully um, but we will see how it works okay so um, let's the previous video like I said you you guys uh, I'm, I'm gonna go on a way that I'm gonna think that you guys already did, did what was uh, explained on the previous video which was to uh, become a CEO and get yourself an office and um, and buy the car warehouse so that's what is required to do to start this video so I hope you guys did that if not please go check the previous video anyway um, the first thing to do is to go to your office to like I'm doing right now and sit on your computer because it's in here that you're going to start the import export uh, missions basically so uh, you need to enter and register yourself on the secure serve um, system I guess uh, you click on vehicle cargo uh, it already shows up your uh, warehouse and all you have to do is uh, source vehicle so what's gonna happen is um, secure serve is going to send you um, did I did it something else? oh no uh, yeah here it is so basically what happens is secure serve is going to send you uh, a message with uh, the car you have to steal now there's three types of cars um, like it depends on the value uh, this one is like the lower range, so standard range, uh, and I have to steal the car. Hello. <coughs> Let me just talk with what her and ask How for my your children? my Kiruma your personal vehicle is being car. Up now, now, these missions there you can do them solo. You just have to be careful on the session you are. If you're lucky, you can get yourself on a public session with very a uh, few people in fact right now I'm just alone I just I was in a session with like two players and right now I'm I'm alone I'm Some completely alone enthusiasts are racing this car around a circuit <coughs> stop it and take it and bring it in okay Try so basically what happened before like I said is you secure server is gonna send you a car you you have to steal uh, now you're gonna have to steal a car now you don't like like uh, it's it's a little bit opposite to uh, what happened uh, on the CEO missions, uh, the crate missions, where you have to spend money. In here, you don't have to spend any money, at least not yet. So don't be afraid to screw up and destroy the car. You're not gonna lose money. You're gonna lose time though. Um, and um, the second the second thing is um, probably there's gonna be a lot of ways of of stealing the car. You're gonna steal the car. Sometimes you're gonna be you just have to steal them from uh, the, the owner's house, no big deal. Other times you're gonna have to steal the same way, but the car has a bomb, so you have to drive fast. Um, some other ways, like this one, you have to go and steal a car on a race event. Um, so, yeah, it, it's gonna be interesting. So, I'm gonna just fast forward, and uh, that's what you're gonna have to do, is just steal the car. Okay, I'm just gonna go fast forward a little bit.
Okay, so I already arrived to the circuit and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to steal the car and um, None of this is the car I want so hopefully I'm not gonna have to do much And I think I may have done it wrong, but anyways you have to steal the car And I don't want to, I don't want to damage much the car, but sometimes you have to damage the car a little bit, so you can steal it. Uh, and you don't want to damage much because, as you guys can see, when you're going to deliver the car to your warehouse, uh, you're going to pay the repair cost. So I already damaged a little bit. Um, but anyways, now all I have to do is uh, run away with the car. Now, it may happen that uh, some uh, NPCs will come after you. If that happens, uh, you have a lot of ways of doing it. But if you leave the car, which you can do, if you leave the car, the NPCs will only shoot at you and not the car. So it will damage a little bit less your car. And uh, the, the more damage your car gets, the, you know, the, the less profit probably you're going to make because you have to pay for that repairs. Okay? Anyways, it doesn't seem like there's any NPCs coming after, so all I have to do is deliver the car to my warehouse. Now that I stole the car, okay? Just gonna fast forward it, and I will see you guys really, really soon. Okay, so I'm gonna deliver the car to my warehouse, and I'm gonna pay the repair costs. And as you guys saw, I lost um, a thousand or something like that. Now I have other cars in here, uh, which is not... I have like four cars or something like that, that I can uh, later on uh, sell them all. But this one was the one I stole. This one in here, the Masaro, or, or, or whatever they call it. Anyways, um, so it did the first step, which was... Let me just... And that car is securely warehoused. Come back and log on to SecuraServe if you want to take a pass at another. Okay, okay. So, uh, basically, in your car warehouse, you can store up to 40 cars. And, uh, and um, the first step is to steal the car. So, you steal the car, you try to avoid taking as much damage as possible because you're going to pay the repairs. And next, the second step is selling the car. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go in here and sit down on the computer from your warehouse now this is a different computer and you're going to sell your car or if you're playing with other players you can sell up to four cars at the same time having in mind that I'm playing by myself I'm just gonna sell the car um, just one car now there's like I was saying there's like three um, value cars you have the standard range, uh, standard uh, range uh, they, they're not very expensive, you're not going to make that much money out of them. You have the mid-range, they're like good cars, but you're also not going to make as much money as the other one, which is the exotic range, if I'm not mistaken. Um, those ones, they you can get up to 100k for selling the car, although you're not going to get 100k from profit. But anyways, let's go now to export the Masac Masacro. Masacro, yeah. So... If I export it right now, I'm going to get a 15k delivery. So that's the profit I'm going to get. Um, and there's three ways to sell it. You can sell it to a private um, private person. You're going to get a commission of uh, 50k. You can, you can go to a showroom. And um, to go to a showroom, you have to uh, change the car, which will cost 3.7k. But you will get a commission of 26, um, 26,000. But that only happens if you don't damage the car, of course. And then you have this, uh, a specialist dealer. This one you're gonna get more money. In this case, because this is the low-end rage car, you're gonna get only gonna get 37k. Uh, but of course, you're gonna have to spend seven, so you're gonna get like 30k or 30,000 from that car. Uh, if let's just say that if you try to export the mid-range, which is a more uh, expensive car, as you got as you can see. 
um, the value increases and if you go to the X uh, to the um, to the other car you know the exotic car you know the, the big big ones it can go up to a hundred K in here of course you have to spend 20 K to change the car um, anyways uh, since this is the video I want to export the standard rage massacre which was the one I stole so I'm gonna export it um, I'm gonna go for the these ones. Oh, of course, I, I forgot to say one thing. These three uh, different uh, exporters or sellers, they are also mean they have different difficulties. So private is like easy level, so nothing much gonna happen. Maybe an NPC car is gonna come to you, but you can deal with him easily. Showroom is a little bit more like a, a middle range. It, it's it's not. You don't. I I think that. Uh, the showroom is not a level that you're normally going to choose much because if you don't want to have issues you go private you're going to get less money but you don't have any basically no big time issues and if you want more money you go specialist but it's going to be a lot harder it's it's going to be more complicated but we're going to go that way so we're going to select uh, this one i'm going to have to uh, modify the vehicle and pay uh, 7.5k to modify the vehicle i have a little bit of time limit if I'm not mistaken, okay, it's uh, yeah five minutes, something like that. So. Okay. And it's done. Now we're going to deliver the car. Okay. I'm gonna go fast forward this one, but I'm probably gonna find some NPCs that gonna try to destroy my car. All or nothing on this one. Okay, so we arrived and we're gonna we had we took a little bit of damage and we're gonna deliver the car right now. <clears throat> so we lost 1k, not much, not not much, so it wasn't that bad, okay? So we did make a little bit of money. 35k. So, um that's basically it guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it was easy for you guys. Uh, have in mind one thing. Uh, right now you can go uh, for... Uh, you can now go and grab more uh, import cars or so. You can steal more cars to your warehouse. But to deliver the cars, to sell the cars, it has a cooldown. I don't know how long it is, but it has a little well bit of cooldown. The money's in the bank. And... Um, but it's it's nothing big, so yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was, I think, kind of easy and simple tutorial. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment, uh, since they are really important and I I really enjoy them. And uh, I will see you guys soon in another video um, of GTA Online or any other game. And uh, yeah. That's basically it. So, anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.